Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto. Today we're going to take a look at Kyber Network. We will have a look at some key statistics and then run over some chart analysis to see when is the best time to invest. Right, so welcome to my channel. Please make sure you do like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's crack on and have a look into KNC. And we will start off on CoinMarketCap and we'll run over some of the key statistics about the project. So, Kyber Network, which is ticket KNC, currently ranked 56 out of all cryptocurrencies that are listed on CoinMarketCap. Today, we have a coin price of $1.20 exactly, and we are slightly down on today's trading, 1.46% down. We have a total supply of 210,440,000 KNC. And of those in circulation, we have pretty much most of them, which is 198 million. We have a 24-hour volume of $51.4 million. And then we have a total market cap of currently at today's date, which is the 9th of September 2020, of $238 million. Scrolling down, just want to have a look at where the, the all-time highs was. And that was at $6.00. And that was in January 9, 2018, and that was towards the end of that 2017 mega bull run that we had. That's the last bull run we really had, the, the really big bull run that everything absolutely mooned. And ever since then, everything's been on pretty much um, a downward spiral. So we've had about three years of, of a downtrend. We've had some ups and downs through it. I mean, currently we've, I think we have peaked on the current uptrend that we've had, but let's have a look into it on the charts in a minute. And just finally, market pairs where we're trading the most so as you can see coinbase pro okx binance all the big exchanges for a big coin is listed this and you are getting a lot of volume on the on the top exchanges here on binance you're getting a good five ten a good 15 percent there with all the pairs added up as you can see we have a lot of recognized pairs we have 118 pairs that are just listed in coin market cap there may possibly be more than that but let's jump over to trading room now and we'll run over the, the project price analysis and see where we could potentially get some good investment opportunities coming up so here we have knc against tether this is on the okx chart we'll start off from a weekly time frame i want to first start off by marking a couple of Key areas of um, support and resistance. Um, I am going to start off with Tether because I trade mostly in Tether, but I will run over the BTC chart as well to see where we can potentially get some entry points in Satoshi. So let's first start off by marking a couple of key areas which I think we could target in the future. So we do have a level there, I believe. So that obviously acted as resistance. We came our way up and we acted as resistance again there. Let's just change that to the weekly level. I've got all these marked up already. There we go. So want to get a couple of levels in so we have something to aim at. We also have a key level there. We acted as, again, resistance. Come our way through and then we acted as support. And ever since then, we bounced off that weekly level quite nice and we've been on a very good uptrend. And again, we'll change that to a weekly level. Just see if we can see any more a little bit further down. You could say we had one there as well. Very top of them two weeks there, we acted as resistance, resistance, come our way through, and we acted as support then, and that again bounced up a firm, we'll change that to a weak level. Don't want to put too many in because chart will end up like a fucking pile of spaghetti. Let's jump into the daily. So we have some key levels there lower, let's just see if we can identify a few a little bit higher with the daily time frame. We've got two weeks there, they acted as resistance again, and we'll change that to a daily level. There we go, daily. As you can see, we're going to have a quite a few up here, I would imagine. You got one there. Just move it up a little bit. It's near enough. Acted as res resistance there, resistance, and then resistance again. So we have a little bit of market structure in place there. You could say, I'll tell you what, we'll put that one there as well. So we have a few levels to aim at now. Change that to a daily and that to a daily so we know where we are. So, as you can see, we have a little bit of structure in place. I just want to move back in time a little bit to the 13th of March, which would be that big spike here. That's when Bitcoin had that 57% dump. And ever since then, everything's been on a huge rise. If we just mark it up as a price rise, oh, fuck and see. So, from that bottom wick down there, all up to the highest point there, we have had a 695% rise. So, if you were holding KNC or you were buying at these levels, then... 
up around here would have been a great area to take some profit because if we just put the I like to use a hitman indicator as you can see we have now a bearish trend whenever there is a switch in market momentum the, the hitman gives me an idea when the market will be moving up or down um, and it's really good across longer time frames as you can see down at this level we had a bullish indicator and then when you can either sell whenever you're happy with profit or wait till the bearish indicator comes out and then sell and, and keep doing that you can also set it up to automatic as well but personally i don't do that but as you can see we have a little bit of structure in place the hitman is bearish and let's just put the emas on so we've had an ema cross there as well on the 29th of august and ever since then we've started to come down usually with an ema cross you would expect it to go up or down so as you can see we had an ema cross down here we've been going up AMA cross down here, we've gone down. They are lagging indicators, but they do give you a good idea of what's going to be happening in in the future, really, with with um, with a trend. So let's get rid of all of them. So we've had quite a big rise, and we are starting to drop. But what I want to do is consider areas for potential investment, and we can use these levels, these levels down here, as areas to target, uh, working with the Fibonacci. So all of them combined together, and we will start off. I mean, you could take the very bottom of a move. We will take, let's just have a look down here. We'll take the bottom body around there, all up to the top. To the top there. We had a double top, and then ever since then we've come down. But what we want to do is look at some areas for, some areas for investment. So we have already bounced off this daily level, and we are starting to move up a little bit. But I do think it's quite subdued. Um, Bitcoin currently doesn't know what it's doing. If we look at Bitcoin at the top right here, we're currently trading at around ten thousand one hundred seventy dollars. It's been down to nine thousand eight hundred and seventy seven. So it's quite a crucial area. If Bitcoin flips and starts to dump in, unfortunately the markets are gonna follow. But in the opposite way, if it starts to fly up then the market's gonna pump again. So we just need to be wary of what Bitcoin's gonna do. But in my opinion, I do think we are going to drop lower. Um I just feel it. We, we've had such a good rise recently. I, I know we're having a bit of relief now, but with all that's been going on in the world with the pandemic and the Federal Reserve printing dollars of that and centre, um, we've had the Tether printer printed about five, six billion dollars off and doubled their market cap, and a lot of that's gone to a Tron network. So I do think everything seems to be propped up a minute, and, and unfortunately, I just do believe that we're going to go down. That's nothing against KNC, um, that's just my feeling crypto overall. And because of that, I do think that we can try to target some of these levels down here. Potential to do 100% retracement um, is quite slim, but I think you can definitely try and target some of these levels down here. We're not a million miles away from there, really. We, we're currently trading at $1.15.16. So anywhere, in my opinion, from this, this weekly support down here at $0.60, cent, all the way up to $0.80, cent, I do think that you should have some orders in place. If you are looking to buy KNC, get some orders in down here and i do think that it will be a really really good opportunity to buy um with regards to a price prediction i mean we need a bull run first to even consider where we're going to go i do think that a lot of these projects that are working hard um this at all time i have six dollars if a project's still going and the team are working hard and people are willing to invest in all-time highs will be broken at some point um you can't really predict what the price is going to be above that because then you're on to a little bit of um, a price discovery mission, really, and it's just it's so hard to predict. But what you need to do is consider that $6 is a, a long-term target over the next year or two, I think. Um, but first of all, we need to think short-term and, and potentially pick up some anything sub $1, really, would be a great buy, in my opinion. We've been down there a long time. We traded in this area. We traded at around $0.22 cent for God coming up to two years so the potential is to go back down there if we just jump on to a knc btc chart if you do trade in satoshis and we'll just find the okx chart there we go we'll just j jump onto that and so again we will draw a fibonacci on from the 13th of march it's around didn't jump dump as much there did it we'll tell you what we'll take the bottom of this body here all the way up to the top I'm not going to put the support levels in because I do think that we can try and target these same levels, the, the 716 on the Fibonacci. So anywhere around these levels, if we just map that up, we're not even a million miles from there. But anywhere from 600 all the way up to 900 sats, I do think will be a great area to buy in for KNC. Um, but we just need to hold out, like I say, I think we do need to... 
we do need to potentially just wait out and see what Bitcoin does over the coming. I think the decision will be made in the next week or two. Um, September's notoriously bad for Bitcoin and um, any assets really, it's usually quite a red month so we just need to wait out on that so that is what I think will happen, that is my areas to target, I'm going to put some orders in down here, I did buy some KNC around here and I sold up here somewhere I didn't make a huge profit but I'm actually looking to hold this long term so I, I'm going to place some orders anywhere between I do think 60, 70, 80 sats will be a great area to hold long term so that's why I'm going to put some orders in if we don't catch them then I'll just buy a little bit higher depending on how the market's going so that will wrap it up for today's video please make sure you do like the video uh, drop some comments if you have any questions I'm, um, I'm active in the comments uh, make sure you do subscribe to the, my channel and I'll catch you next time